Hallo all miteinander, guten Abend und willkommen zurück zu another Pokémon Ruby Nuzlocke Edition. That is correct, ladies and gentlemen. We are redoing this Pokémon Nuzlocke because it has been, first of all, two years since we've done the original Nuzlocke, which is just absolutely crazy. That particular run only lasted about five episodes, and what is probably most mind-boggling to me, it was recorded on a Game Boy. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but the Game Boy, it did not have great quality, we'll say, when it comes to projecting a picture, uh, and especially even then trying to record said picture. So why I thought it would be a good idea to play it on the Game Boy is beyond me. Maybe it was for nostalgic reasons. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, it's been two years and it wasn't that great. And I'm planning something really, really big. So if you guys have been here for a while, you know that me and Lynx both really like Pokemon. And respectively, we each have done our own fair share of, uh, of Nuzlocke's. Uh, I myself have done Fire Red, Ruby, and Heart Gold. Lynx did... I know he did Leaf Green, I think he did Pearl or Platinum, or maybe he did both, I don't remember. Point is, I have decided, since Lynx failed miserably with his uh, little self-imposed challenge that I particularly gave him on uh, defeating the Kanto Elite Four with a random team, I was going to build him a new team, and I did. But then I thought, what if, what if I scrapped that idea? And I send up all the Pokemon we currently still have in our Game Boy games and trade over all the Pokemon in the DS games that we each respectively nuzlocked. And we have to build one final team out of all these Pokemon, win or lose, doesn't matter, out of all of them, the dead ones and the live ones, and then challenge the Elite Four. Specifically, I will be challenging the Johto Elite Four, Lynx will be challenging the Sinnoh Elite Four, and then we will both challenge the Kanto Elite Four with this one singular team. So to make this a bit more interesting, I am re-nuzlocking Pokemon Ruby and Lynx is going to Nuzlocke uh, Fire Red. And the best part is he doesn't know that yet either. Uh, but he will be doing that instead of re-challenging the Kanto Elite Four. And I just think this will be fun because, well, first of all, it's, it's Ruby, one of the best Pokemon games ever. And uh, second of all, it'll just give us more options so I also just, I genuinely just want to redeem myself because it, it just didn't go very well. I think we lost to Watson, I think. If if we got past May, I'd be very impressed. Tomo, we're here, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in that moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It's a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? Oh, God, it's not. I'm gonna be saying that a lot because God, the soundtrack in this game. I mean, everybody knows it. It's just so good. And you get your own room, Toma. Let's go inside. All right, cool, nice. See, Toma, isn't it nice in here too? The movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Toma, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Yeah. So my battery has run dry, like most people. Uh, so this is irrelevant, but we'll, we'll set this anyway. Uh, sure. It's, it's all irrelevant, so. Oh, wait. No, it's not irrelevant. Oh, no. I could have set that tonight. Well, I mean, it does say events don't, no longer take place. So I don't even know if I could evolve into a, an Espeon or an Umbreon if I somehow got an Eevee. Uh, but, you know. Pokemon Moors are so convenient. Oh, you should take, make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's a potion in here, right? Yeah, hey, what do you know? I actually remembered that. That's crazy. All right, well, let's get moving here. Oh, what's happening? <gasps> Toma, Toma, quickly, quickly. What is it, Mom? Look, it's Pedalburg Gym. Maybe Dad's there. <gasps> Daddy, we brought you this report from in front of Pedalburg Gym. Oh, it's over. Just like our marriage. What? I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes. What if Dad's friends lives in town? Professor Bitch. I mean, Birch is his name. He lives right next door. So you should go over and introduce yourself. So for this particular run, I'm going to go with Trico uh, because we did go with Torchic last time. 
And I also just genuinely feel like I didn't mean to do that. Uh, is he going to tall grass? Yes, hey, throw. Wow, Pokemon's up here. It's not very safe. Oh, thank you, small child. Uh, I, I, I don't really pick Trico much anymore. And Grobile's really cool. And honestly, I don't even know if, if I've ever even had a Sceptile. So, why not? Why not? We're gonna go with that. So, I guess also, with all this blabbering I'm doing, I should talk about what a Nuzlocke is, in case you're new and you just happen to not know what a Nuzlocke is. So, Nuzlocke's are self-imposed challenges, and they're really fun. They only start when you get Pokeballs. You uh, have to nickname every Pokemon that you get. If a Pokemon faints, runs away, or something that prevents you from getting it, you lose that encounter. You only get one encounter per route, and, uh, I think that's everything? Yeah, well, using items in and out of battle, or specifically in battle, is usually up to the player. I feel like we typically say we're allowed to use them, but then just never do. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and I think I covered all the bases there. It, it's night. It's, like, late, so if I, if I miss something, I'll probably correct it later. But I, I heard about you, Toma, from my dad, Professor Birch. Sony, you would be nice, Toma, and that we could be friends. Oh, God, friendship. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I, I just met you, Toma. Uh, yeah. <laughs> friendship. Oh, no, I forgot. I was supposed to go help Dad get some wild Pokemon. Catch you later, Toma. What just happened? Hey, she's got a GameCube. Sweet. We're going to play some Smash later. All right. Let's go down here. So long, random woman. Goodbye. Do, 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 do. Time to get me a Trico. I can hear someone shining down the road there. What should I do? What should we do? Somebody's gotta go help! <laughs> help! Grab my balls! Your what? My balls! They're in my sack! Oh, okay. Look at that Poochiana. It's beautiful. Alright, so we're gonna go with the Trico, and like I said, we have to name this thing. I don't know what to call this thing. We need a good name for Trico. I don't want to be the guy that says, oh, his name's Gex or Gecko or Geico. Like, that's, those are common names, you know? I want something amazing. I know, actually, I know exactly what we're going to call this man. I, I know exactly what we're going to call this man. So, hear me out here. Uh, don't ask how I came to this conclusion. We're just going to say autism. But... I looking at this sprite, my brain is just like screaming random voice clips of Connor, uh, Sea Dog VA, the YouTuber who plays with Iron Mouse. I don't know why, but I'm just picturing a British lizard just saying quotes that Connor has said. Um, so we're just gonna call it Connor. We're going to call him Connor. That is my that is my verdict. Yes, that is my logic too. Uh, does it make sense? No. Probably not. I don't think most people look at lizards and say, wow, that thing would be great with a British accent. Uh, but, but I did. And so we have Connor the British Lizard. <laughs> and that's canon, by the way. It's British. The, the other Tricos, I don't know their ethnicities or whatever. Uh, but this one in particular uh, is, a, is a freaking British... Also, that's not how you spell Connor, probably. That says Coner. Uh, but you know what? Is it one N? Wait, I can't even. I'm so tired right now. I don't even. We're just going with that. I, I don't even care if that's right. I'm tired. That's what I'm going with. Your name's Connor. That's probably, probably legit. Great. She'll be happy. Excellent. All right. See you around, I guess. All right, so we don't... Okay, so going back to the rules, in case I didn't explain this properly, the Nuzlocke itself does not start until you get Pokeballs, which I want to point something out here. Uh, in this game specifically, when you get your Pokemon, if you can see there, met on Route 101, technically the route... Or the, the Nuzlocke hasn't started yet, so we can still catch a Pokemon for Route 101. Uh, we got Trico or Connor here before that happened. So, technically, uh, you know, we can still catch some Pokemons, but, yeah. A Wurple. So, honestly, what do I want? What, what am I hoping to get for my first encounter? I, I think Wingull's an option. Poochiana. I don't 
think Zigzagoon is an option yet? He could be. He might be. He might be. I think Zigzagoon's Route 1, right? Or the first route. Maybe not. But Wingull's catchable up here. Uh, which I think is a new area. Oh, Zigzagoon is catchable. He's right here. Wow, look at him. He's all zigging and zagging. Zigzagoon. Oh, dang. Connor, look at you. Bruh, Connor taking them W's. He's like, bruh. I had to I had to play a game with a feisty Latino girl. I, I'm ready for this. I can take on a rabid raccoon-looking creature. All right, he learned absorb. Not bad. Uh, let's go heal real fast. Oh, so that's something... Wait, okay, I did miss a rule. I knew I was forgetting something. The Pokemon themselves, yeah. So, if a Pokemon dies or faints in battle, it is considered dead, and you have to release it or put it in the PC. For obvious reasons, like I just stated at the beginning of the video, we will be putting them in the PC, because I need them for our greater good of conquest later down the line. But also, I just like to keep Pokemon. I don't like releasing Pokemon. So, we're gonna keep all their smelly little corpses in a PC. It's going to be great. There's going to be a lot of them. It's going to be very traumatic. Uh, but, you know, I, I have hope for this because, spoilers, but I did actually win one of my Nuzlocke's. Yes, I won't specify, but I did win. So I'm feeling pretty hopeful that maybe, oh, maybe I'll be competent enough to do this. Hmm, let's see here. I found this dead guy. Oh, hey, it's you. Oh, hi, I see my dad give you Pokemon as a gift. Let's battle. Uh, okay. Sure, why not? And like I said, I hope I said earlier, if you're interested in Pokemon content, please check out the playlists. We have lots of Pokemon stuff, specifically Nuzlocke's. We have a few regular Let's Plays, I think, and uh, just some other stuff going on. More future projects in the works here, so yeah, give it, give it a check, you know. Again, the original playthrough of this game, or, well, original Nuzlocke, was two years ago, so if you do decide to watch that, I'm sorry for the poor quality. Maybe I even say in the video why I decided to record it on a Game Boy. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. I, I don't remember. Oh, wrecked. Destroyed. Absolutely obliterated. Just like a mouse. Mm, yes, it's a British Tuesday, isn't it? Mm, time, to, time to make some streams. I don't really know any Connor... Connor quotes off the top of my head. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you. That British gecko there is quite something. I mean, he just got that Pokemon. I mean, look at him. He's so British. He's fighting for the for the greater good here. Okay, so now we're going to get some Pokeballs, and the run will begin. We can start collecting Pokemons and start giving them nicknames, and it's going to be great. Uh, we should probably heal, though. Yeah, on the off chance something bad happens here, we're just gonna, we're just gonna heal. Sure, I like this idea. Why, thank you, Nash Joy. What a kind soul you are. Okay, so, particularly in this episode, I think, I think we're gonna get two encounters, I'm pretty sure. Route 101, and then I think Route 103, or two, is like right up there. So, we're going to get at least two new Pokemon. I'm really hoping for a Wingull. I I know we're... A, I mean, we have Trico. So, no matter what, we can win the first gym. The first gym is Rock, by the way. Um, but having Wingull would would better assure that. Because Wingull does learn uh, Water Gun early on. But also, Tre Connor does know uh, Absorb. So, I mean... I guess we're fine. I don't know. I'm probably overreacting right now, to be honest with you. But also, I'm just trying to think, like, what other benefits would the other route men have? Like, Wormpole's useless. Uh, Poochiana... I mean, Mighty is pretty good, but it's not, like... It doesn't... It's nothing they would be, like, super effective against here in this region. Gym-wise, I don't think. Or wait, no, there's a Psychic Gym in this game. So maybe it would be good there. Okay, so I what the mom? Toba Toba, did you induce yourself to Professor Birch? What an adorable Pokemon's! Oh, your father's child. Here, honey, take this. Oh, hey, running shoes. That's all right. Cool. Yeah, I think Mighty Anna might be the way to go. I don't know what we're gonna name it, but that's the way to go. Zigzagoon is really cool. I usually catch Layoon early on. Uh, it's a really cool Pokemon. 
but its stats are not great and it never does anything effective for me. So I don't know if I really want that, but enough libba jabbing. Let's get to work. What's our first mon? It's a zigzagoon. It's a ziggy. Ah, yeah, we'll call it Ziggy, because I think I already have a Zigzagoon named Lynx from our first playthrough, so we'll give this one a different name. Uh, so, well, assuming we don't accidentally kill this creature. Or wait, wait, do I even have the Pokeballs? Okay, we do. I was about to say, wait, do I even have Pokeballs? Like, is the run started yet? Yeah, we do, we do, we do. Uh, don't kill it, Connor, please. I know you're British, but don't kill it. Excellent. Okay, bag... Uh, give me this. Go. Please. Oh, we caught Ziggy. All right, we'll call him Ziggy. Why not? So first thing that came out of my mouth, you know what? We'll we'll go with it. Uh, that. Beautiful. All right, onward to the next conquest. Oops, wrong direction. Don't run into anything. Beautiful. All right, let's heal up our team here. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon. Wow, thank you. How nice of you. Okay, can we... We can go this way now. Uh, but I'd rather us go this way. Because it's Route 103! Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Just gotta make sure that this isn't... 102! Okay, just making sure that that's not the same freaking route. Okay, so in this instance... We already have a Zigzagoon, so this does not count as an encounter. So we get to try again. We get to spin the wheel again, John. What do we win? Well, let's see what's behind door number two. It's Wingle! It's a Lady Wingle! Well, hi! Okay, cool. Um, What shall we call this lady? Oh, she's, she's such a... Oh, she evolves into Pelipper, so I don't know. What do we call a Wingle? Oh god, I, I think I know what to call you. Alright, well... Mm, well, let's... Before I even think of a name, let's just make sure we even catch you, so... Also, is there a Pokemon store in this city? Village? I hope so. But we'll deal with that in a minute, because we gotta name a Wingle! Okay, um... Okay, I know what we're going to call this thing. I shall name you, I mean, it's not a girl name, but I will name this anyways because I guess it's a unis unisex name. We're going to call it Gray uh, because my favorite YouTuber is called Gray Still Plays and he is from Florida. And what's in Florida? Annoying ass birds called seagulls. So this is called Gray. Welcome to the team. Also, I, yes, I think we did just pass a Pokemart. So that's nice and convenient. Why, hello there. Please tell me you sell Pokeballs. <gasps> you do! Okay, um, so... I don't think we need any of these right now. There's no poison types around. As far as I know. Uh, Pokeballs... We'll take about four more. Potions, we're definitely gonna get a couple of those. Never know when we're gonna need those. Uh, but yeah, okay, so... We're at almost basically 20 minutes, and... Oh, we should check the stats of these guys. Wait a minute, hold up. 
I, you know, I'm getting so ahead of myself catching freaking Pokemon. Oh, <gasps> pick up! Oh, that's such a good ability. That's really good. Okay. Um. So in this game, you have to like look up their what their stats are, like like what's increased and what's decreased. I don't really know just by looking at them. Uh, you guys can tell me. Uh, prevents loss of accuracy is not bad. Sassy nature. Uh, here are those stats. There, actually, they have the exact same stats aside from special attack. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but yeah, that's that. And I guess, I guess we'll look at Connor real fast here. And he's not looking too bad. But yeah, this is our, our Nuzlocke team so far. We got Connor, Ziggy, and Gray. I don't know how I feel about it, but I mean, hey, it's a team. And uh, it's it's working for me right now. But uh, yeah, in the next episode, I'm hoping that we will at least get... Uh, we have to. We still have to get through that forest, so we're not going to get to the first... Well, we might get to the first gym. I'm going to try and keep these videos shorter. I, I try to keep them within the 20-minute range, so we may not get to the gym. But uh, we at least got two new partners, so that's kind of cool. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody!